We're at Grow Heathrow uh, on the edges of the huge international airport. I'm talking here to Joe, uh, who's going to tell us a little bit about the project and uh, when people arrived here and what they're up to. Um, so, Joe, there's a lot of greenhouses I can see. Um, what are you guys up to? Yeah, so um, this bit of land that we're standing on, we came about two and a half years ago when the third runway of Heathrow was still on the agenda. Um, so a lot of people have been taking direct action with the local residents around here to stop the third runway from destroying 700 homes in the local area and destroying climate through climate change. Um, and so where we are standing today, which is quite exciting, is what would have been the tarmac of the third runway. Um, so that's something to celebrate in itself. Um, but we wanted to go beyond fighting the third runway to build a community project. So, you know, we fought off the third runway together. That's dead now. That's great. Um, we want to start thinking about how we can, you know, how people can start taking back control over their lives, you know, through things like food growing, community projects, community events. And you know, that's what this site has become, uh, a real hub for local people coming in. You'll see local residents that come in regularly and about 20 residents who live here at the moment. And uh, how long have you been here? How, how's the experience been for you? So I've been here for about my first sort of, first came to villages five years ago in climate camp set up. Um, and then we moved into a house down the road to set up Transition Heathrow, um, which is a transition town based on the, the idea of, of grassroots communities taking back control around the issues of climate change and peak oil and, and doing something about them on a very sort of grassroots level. Yeah. Um, so that's something, so it's not just this site where we are, you know, Transition Heathrow goes out into the local villages of all the other Heathrow villages and works with lots of local people. Um, so that's how we got here. That was the model we kind of chose. And, and what would your advice be to people elsewhere who are thinking about, you know, either taking over land, setting up transition, um, getting involved in community project like this? What, what, what would you have as a sort of take home message for them? Well, I mean, this, this project wouldn't be possible without squatting, you know, <laughs> land, land, kind of land use is, is so, there's so much inequality around land use in this country at the moment. It's seven, I think 70% of people own 1% of the land, you know, and I think squatting's one method for reversing that trend. Um, and that's what we've done, you know, we've come into a piece of land that was derelict in a state of disrepair, cleared 30 tonnes of rubbish off it, reglazed all the greenhouses that we can see behind us. Um, you know, I think that's a good thing for society and encourage people to do that. You know, if there's what well, I think is one million empty properties across the UK. Why should they be sitting empty when this homelessness is rising? You know, makes sense. So um, you've got uh, plants all over the place and you're going to court today to defend them. How are you personally feeling about all that? Kevin, <laughs> holding onto the plants in the court. Um, I'm feeling mildly confident. Um, there's been quite a lot of good media coverage over last week um, and all the issues have been out there. Um, it's it's been heard that you know we want to buy the land and we've offered a good market rate for the land, which you know the, the owners have no plans for it whatsoever. Um, and and as I say, this had become a real problem antisocial site in the area. So I guess our our key aim is to persuade the judge that um, it's better for us to be here than them. You know we don't want it to go back to what it was like before. Okay, so that's uh, Joe there. Uh, he's here as part of Grow He Throw. Uh, you can see a bit in the background of the project, um, but if you want to find out more, you can go to the internet, look up Grow He Throw, Transition He Throw, you can find that. And this is Patrick Chalmers for Vision in TV, signing off.